Glory, hallelujah. Happy, happy resurrection morning to every one of you in the name of Jesus. That's it, brethren. This is the day that the Lord has made. I am so glad that you made it to the resurrection morning today. God is alive. Jesus is alive forevermore. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. I am glad that he didn't disappoint. The word declares in the, the book of Mark, chapter 16, verse 2 down to 4. It says, very early in the morning, on the first day of the week, they came to the tomb where the sun, uh, when the sun had risen. And they said among themselves, who will roll away the stone from the door of the tomb for us? But when they looked up, they saw that the stone had been rolled away. For it was very large. And entering the tomb, they saw a young man clothed in a white robe, sitting on the right side, and they were alarmed. But he said to them, Do not be alarmed. You see Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He is risen. He is not here. See the place where he lays. Hallelujah. I bring you good news this morning that Jesus of Nazareth is no longer dead, is alive forevermore. The fact that he was crucified, the fact that he was buried, and three days in the belly of the earth, but today, the Sunday, the very first day of the week, he rose from the dead triumphantly as it's been spoken about him. I bring you joy that your hope in Christ is a real hope. Is a hope that will not be disappointed. Jesus rose from the dead. You also will rise from every situation and every situation you have found yourself in. I bring you the joy of salvation today. I want you to know that this resurrection morning is your portion. From every affliction, from every pain, from every situation, even from the lockdown position, it is impossible for death to hold Jesus down and back to the grave. It is impossible for affliction. It is impossible for you to be held down. You are a child of God. I want to congratulate you today that you are resurrected from the dead. Happy celebration. Oh, glory to God. Other gods died dead. He never rose again. But this Jesus, he died and he rose again. And his death on the cross was just for you and for myself to justify us before the Father, and to bring us back into the beloved. Hallelujah. Now we all have an equal access to the Holy of Holies where we can see our God. We have no more barrier, no more partition between us and God. We are free to relate with God. Our sins have been forcibly forgiven. Death has been crushed and conquered. Satan is defeated eternally and now all power belongs to God. We have redemption for our souls right now by Jesus Christ. I challenge you this morning to put your hope and trust in Jesus and then to accept him and visit him into your life as Lord and Savior. That is the only hope for mankind. And I challenge you to receive his resurrection power over every condition over every situation in your life this morning. That's it, my friend. Happy celebration. Rejoice in the Lord because a new day is done upon us. Hallelujah. Lord, amen.